Let's take a sip of our coffee. Ah. Now that I've done that, let's get this party started. So, I'm not a geek, nor do I come across as somebody technical or anything. I'm just a normal human being that, you know, does editing and whatnot. And last night I was editing something for a client and I came across a very unusual issue. It usually occurs when you try to edit in two different softwares, Final Cut Pro and DaVinci. I was literally flipping out because of trying to take out Final Cut Pro XM a file into DaVinci and then relinking the media. Let me just show you basically what I ended up going through. So I opened up Final Cut Pro and I had my montage or whatever that I was creating. So a lot of transitions in between and everything was pretty much ready, good to go. But the client wanted me to make a few changes which Final Cut Pro didn't exactly have. So what I did first was I created an export XML file, saved it as my the title that I'm trying to go with here in the folder with all the files are. I saved it, that exported, and I opened DaVinci and I created another project and I imported uh, my timeline. Then I'll scroll down. It's already set as default because I was trying to figure it out last night. So I open that up. I keep all this stuff right here. I hit OK. Now it says, do you want to select another folder to search? So when this first popped up, I said yes. And then I went on to my actual, where my files are located. This is where I selected because that's where all the stuff is. I hit OK, nothing happened. Like it's loading now. Uh huh. Look at that, nothing happened. So then I ended up clicking no, and they told me, like, oh, all this stuff is missing from your timeline. So I was like, okay, I know I figured it out before because I had a similar issue. So what I did was I located where all my files were. Now I see that I have C0002 file being used. So what I did was I dragged it into my media pool here, then I double clicked it and I went to clip attributes time code and apparently they told me to change everything to zero so i'm just gonna copy this paste this here and i hit okay and then nothing happened it still it still says media offline for some odd reason i went ahead and did something a little differently which happens to work for me i'm not sure if it's gonna work for you guys these are specifically sony files this was shot on sony's a6400 i did see a few youtube videos on it that says sony clips do have issues but apparently people ended up changing their clip attributes the time code to zero and they were able to pull up the exact same thing here but it didn't work for me so what i ended up up doing was deleting these files so I'm gonna go ahead and delete all of these delete clips delete the clips Okay, so once I have deleted them, now they're like even more red than before. Really intimidating, be like, all right, your project is lost kind of shit. Well, that's not exactly the case here. So now that I've deleted them, I'm gonna reopen the folder where my files were. So I'm gonna drag these files into my media pool. And now what I'm gonna do is do the exact same thing I did before by going into the clip attributes and changing the time code to zero. Now that will pull up the actual file. It works for me. I hope it really works for you guys as well. So as soon as I saw it, I was like, I need to make a, a video on this because this can save you a lot of time. You won't go crazy. Your footage is not lost. You have everything that you need here. I'm going to go ahead and change all the time codes for all the clips. So here we are. I changed the time code for literally all the files here. Now my timeline looks exactly the same as the one in Final Cut Pro. Minus the color, but we'll add that in afterwards. So there you have it. I hope it really works for you guys. Go out there, start editing, and I hope this helps. Later!